what's going on there YouTube and welcome back to another comic book video this is the channel where we sit down and cover different comic book stories from different comic book companies today we're going to jump back over to IDW and continue our coverage over the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles now we're going to cover the origin of old Hob. We have not seen Hob in a very long time, but we have to cover his origin story because he does play a big role in the City Fall event. So this right here will technically be part two. But if you do like today's comic book video, please hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the near future but I do hope you enjoy today's video. So this book is just by the cover in the title of this video. It is letting us know that Old Man Hob is back in the picture again. He's alive, except it seems that he's going to tell us and someone else his origin and how he's alive again since we last saw him which we jump back to the time where he hadn't mutated yet. At this moment, he was just a regular house cat. His owner was a young boy, and the young boy actually took good care of him. Except when the young boy's mom came home one day, the young boy forgot to clean out Hobbs' litter box, and the mom hated her house smelling like cat poop all over her home which led to her grabbing Hob and throwing him out and making him be a stray cat all because of poop, letting us know that this was the beginning of his rough life. The reason why I say that is because he was thrown out when it was winter time, which then led us into him explaining how rough it was for him to live on the streets. We see him trying to fight against a dog and lose that battle. That leads into the night he had his run-in with the turtles. Remember, the Foot Clan tried to kidnap the turtles Splinter and some mutagen before they had mutated. Except the turtles Splinter and the mutagen fell in the middle of a random alleyway, which of course led to the turtles and Splinter falling in the puddle of the mutagen and getting mutated. Before they mutated, Old Man Hob tried to eat one of the turtles and Splinter stopped that from happening by attacking Hob. You had a story jump back in the present day where you have Hob tell us in our mysterious character that he thought he was going to die that night by the hand of Splinter. Except since Splinter Claw had mutagen on them which of course began the process of Hob getting mutated into the character we see him as today. That then leads into a quick two page where we get to see Hob fully mutated. Then he overhears a conversation that is going on between Baxter Stockman and Chet Allen as they are talking to each other about how the Foot Clan tried to kidnap the turtles Splinter and some of the mutagen. You had Hop introduce himself to Baxter Stockman and Chet Allen to show them what could happen if animals get in contact with their mutagen. They mutate, of course. Also, him telling them that he is down to hunt Splinter to get revenge. Except before he is able to go after Splinter and the Turtles, you have Stockgen run a test on him to learn more about how the mutagen had transformed a cat into a tall looking man like creature. Except the whole time they are running tests on him, he's just thinking about getting revenge against Splinter and to bring him back to Stockgen. After a while, Baxter Stockman agrees on letting Hob go after Splinter. Now, Baxter Stockman lets Hob go free and go after the Turtles and Splinter, except it had to be where he was undercover and show he had no connections to Stockgen, making sure just in case Hob is captured and there is no way it can get back to them. So we get to see how soon he got into the streets. He began the process to build his gang, the same gang we saw when we first began to cover the turtles. 
that is when we jump back over to the present day to learn about who the person Hob has been talking to. We see that it is Slash, who we thought had died back in Blood Brothers storyline. Leonardo has stabbed Slash and let us believe that he died, except of course he did not die and he is now working with Hob. We then switch back to the past where you have Hob explain to us about the downfall for him. After finally getting a gang together to work for him, he met the Turtles and Splinter who have of course mutated. So now he is fighting against Ninja Turtles now, which is something completely different. Except after capturing Splinter for Stock Gen, only for Stock Gen and Hob to lose Splinter, Baxter Stockman actually has shot Old Man Hob off for failing, but also making sure there is no connection that can be tied back to Stock Gen. Except Hob actually survived because he kept a testing tube full of mutagen to keep him alive because he had it in his shirt. To close on this book, we see Old Hob and Slash being confronted by Splinter and most of the turtles. Leonardo was kidnapped, remember, he was kidnapped in our last video, but we see that apparently they were called here by Hob for some strange reason. And this is where we are going to end today's video. So please hit that like button down below and also subscribe to the channel for more content to come in the near future. Also, any suggestions on books I should read? Well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But I do hope you enjoyed today's video.